It's the question many parents have been asking when when will COVID-19 vaccines be available for children? And how will researchers make sure the vaccines are safe for our kids? Today, one company took a major step toward answering those questions. Our Dr. Frank George joins us now with the very latest. Hey, Karen and Jason. Yeah, you know, Pfizer's vaccine has already been authorized for ages 16 and up, and clinical trials are in progress testing the vaccines in older children. But today, Moderna announced the first young children have received doses of their vaccine, and that actually includes some babies. Moderna has officially kicked off the second phase of its Kid Cove study, giving the first shots to children aged 6 months to 11 years old. They plan to enroll approximately 6,750 children in the U.S. and Canada. The trial is two parts. The first part will test different doses of the vaccine and see how the children respond. Those results will determine what dose is used in the second part of the trial, in which some kids will receive the actual vaccine and some will receive a placebo. The goal is to provide critical answers on how effective and safe the vaccine will be for the youngest Americans. I heard the word vaccine and I immediately just sort of fell in. 13-year-old Maria back from Indiana is participating in the trial for older children. She got her second dose last week. Maria doesn't know if she's receiving the actual vaccine or the placebo, but she did have a few side effects. My head sort of hurt, I like my throat sort of felt dry, my arm did feel a little bit mm. hurt. Vaccine or not, she's proud to be a part of it. I feel like me putting my impact and help on that by testing it out really helped and I felt like I was, yeah, just helping. I think she does feel proud of herself. I mean, I think she should, you know, she really never hesitated. Now, the Moderna trial for younger children is taking place at 14 sites in eight states, but not here in Michigan. Now, I know you may be asking who would sign their child up to be the first to receive a new vaccine. Well, we've already seen some of the older children participating in the trials are actually the children of healthcare workers, including some whose parents participated in the adult vaccine trials. And I think it's something that really speaks to the confidence that they have in the safety of the research and their desire to help end this pandemic. I was wondering the same thing, Doc. By the way, on the topic of vaccines, now we did hear several European countries have stopped giving that AstraZeneca vaccine because of concerns about blood clots. So is there a real risk there? Well, you know, Karen, I think the real answer is that we don't know, and that's why these safety studies are being done. Until all the data is analyzed, everyone is simply guessing. Now, from the data that has been made public, my guess is that there will not turn out to be a causal link that they can identify. But the cautious approach that's being taken in other countries, it's good. And we just cannot jump to conclusions at this point. All right. Back to you. Always appreciate your perspective. Thank you, Doc.